Hi there, welcome back. I'm Sydney Brown, and this is the Writing and Publishing Resource for Beginners. So today we're going to talk about uh, researching book marketability. Now, obviously, this is going to be at a higher level. We'll go deeper on some other videos. But for this, I really want to stick with just the high level obvious stuff because this is really complex. There's a lot to it. Uh, it would really behoove you to really dig in if you're trying to make money from your stories. So we're going to talk first about, uh, you know, just kind of understanding the importance of researching uh, books, ideally before you start writing them, uh, the methods of researching, and then we're going to go into tips for how to maximize your book marketability. All right, so if you're ready, if you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe. You're going to find a lot of really great stuff on our channel. This is right now all free training, training, and my goal is to keep this free by you subscribing, if you will, uh, like the videos, leave comments on the videos. I do come in and interact through the comments. Uh, in the description, you're going to find a lot of really good resources, as well as um, a, a writing in environment, a community that you're welcome to come to absolutely free as well. All right, so without further ado, let's dive in. So when we're talking about marketability and the importance of researching it, it really is something that, okay, so there's two scenarios. Let's, let's go with this. One scenario, you have a story in you and you need to get that story out. There is a good chance that someone is out there waiting just hoping, scouring books, trying to find a story that will help them in their situation. Whatever the situation is, there is someone who is already waiting for your story to be told. You can help them. And if that's the case, then you need to learn to research and to market your book after you do your story. Because in that case, your story is about your impact and your purpose more than the profit, right? Now, the other side of that is, and, and generally this will be fiction uh, and sometimes nonfiction as well, but the other case is you are a writer and your passion is writing and you want to make a living as a writer. If that is you, then what you need to do, and that's where, where we're at right now, right here, is you need to research before you spend your time on writing. You need to do your research and make sure that your book will be marketable. All right? So we're going to go into this. We're going to talk about uh, how to research and, and why. You know, why does this matter? But I promise you, it does matter. And you don't want to waste your time, your resources, and definitely not your money on books that are not going to be bought or that is in such a crowded market that you, you know, you're just going to add to the, the mountains of the same story. You need to do enough. Re I'll, I'll just move on into my, <laughs> to my, my top 10. I could really go on and on about this because it is such an important topic, but I don't want to, to derail you and take all day on this. Uh, we're going to talk about the different methods and resources to help you determine which books have the highest potential for sales. And with that, let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, so the top 10 methods for researching book marketability. Whew. All right, so number one, analyze bestseller lists. So what you want to do is re review the, the bestsellers on the platforms like Amazon, New York Times, uh, USA Today. Identify the popular genres, the themes, uh, and, and anything that's trending. Make sure that you stay fresh on all of the trending and relevant topics. 
Number two, study book reviews. Now, a lot of people miss this because you think, well, that's their book review. It doesn't matter to me. You learn a lot if you read book reviews. You learn what people liked, what they loved, what they hated, things that, that they didn't respect or things that they're so glad that they learned. Learn and study these book reviews of, of any of the genres as you start to hone in and then really dive deep into the book reviews the details, you know, on once you start figuring out what your, your specific category or genre is. Number three, join writing and reading communities. And that is why, you know, we do have a uh, writing community as well, because that synergy you get when you interact with each other helps a lot. You don't want to be out on an, a silo or an island all by yourself. So the, the writing and reading communi communities really help a lot. Uh, the social media groups, the book clubs, uh, all those type things, you're able to you know kind of gather insight uh, into what readers are looking for, what they enjoy, find out, you know, sometimes I'll, I'll see in some groups where people say, man, I couldn't put that book down and everybody agrees. And then another person in a different, you know, book will talk about, oh, it was really hard to read that. It was, it was just very triggering, but it was a really, really good book. So you realize as you start, you know, really delving into what people are saying, you realize, okay, so maybe I should, you know, not be so, you know, negatively triggering. Uh, but triggering is is not a bad thing necessarily. Triggering is a good thing uh, if it if it grabs them. Uh, number four, follow industry news and trends. So stay informed about the publishing industry by following blogs, podcasts, uh, newsletters, things like that that cover the trends and the announcements and the market analysis. Anything that adds education and knowledge to what you're doing, what you're investing your time and your money in, you need to stay abreast of all of that. Number five, monitor successful authors. Study the works and the marketing strategies of successful authors in your genre specifically all over in general, but specifically in your genre to learn, you know, from their experience so that you don't have to make the same mistakes. Number six, use keyword research tools. Uh, this is a really big help and it helped me as I was getting started. Uh, I didn't know it existed at first, but uh, if you utilize the tools like, you know, Google Trends, Amazon Keyword Tool, or KDP Rocket, uh, things like that, it will help you identify popular search terms and topics. You know, once you know what people are asking for, you can give them the answers. Number seven, uh, attend conferences, workshops, things like that. So you want to participate in writing conferences, workshops, webinars, anything like that, that you can network with other industry professionals, gain insights into market trends. Um, I've, I've been in some webinars uh, where just, you know, you, you think you're there for this and you paid, you know, your, your couple hundred dollars for this, this little bit of what you thought you were coming for. And just in conversation, someone says, oh, yeah, well, if you if you go over to this place, they they're taking pitches right now. And you're like head explodes. You're like, I didn't even know I was going to get that nugget. So by doing that, you're able to network and figure out something new that may open another door for you. So just know that if you're in this industry and you're taking it seriously, get get in it. Number eight, research literary agents and publishers. Investigate the submission guidelines and the preferences 
of agents and publishers in your genre to identify, you know, what the market demands are, the opportunities, just kind of always have your finger on the pulse of what's going on specifically in your genre, because at any time that could change. So if you're still thinking like last year, this year could be an entirely different realm. So you just need to make sure that you're staying abreast of what's happening. Uh, number nine, seek feedback from beta readers. Now, uh, you probably already know the feedback thing and, and constructive criticism, but it really is super important because when you when you share your book with someone um, or your ideas and you know maybe a draft to a, a diverse group of people, you know, not just your best friend who's going to say they love it, you know, but to to kind of pick out two or three people in kind of a wide spectrum of of lifestyles and get their opinions, then you're better able to to learn how to hone your writing to fit the reader expectations of a broader audience. Now, number 10, conduct surveys uh, or polls, you know, uh, like Google Form is a really great way to do it. Uh, use social media, uh, email surveys, different things like that, and directly ask your, your target audience, the people you think is your audience. Ask them the questions. Ask them, you know, what do you prefer? Uh, I, I've done this before and I had a, a list of, gosh, I don't know, it was probably 30 different subgenres. And I was surprised at how many people said steamy romance and, you know, young adult, uh, you know, kids books. And so it, it's kind of funny your readers don't just read one genre. They may have a favorite, but maybe they're also buying books for their kids. Maybe they're also buying books, you know, you don't know. So ask them and get those answers and pay attention to what you learn when you do your research. All right, guys, let's go ahead and move on to the next section. All right, Sydney Brown back again. Now we're gonna talk about the top 10 tips for maximizing your book marketability. So let's assume now you've got the book and it's time to market. So now let's get you equipped to do this the best way you can. Again, this is a high level, so I do urge you to dig deeper and to really hone in on this because marketing a book is as tough as publishing a book is simple. So there's a lot of books out there that are just sitting. You need to be the one who, who is not afraid to roll up your sleeves and get your marketing game on. All right, so here we go. The top 10 tips for maximizing book marketability. Uh, so number one, know your audience. You know, understand their preferences, their expectations, and the reading habits of your, your, your market, your ideal readership. Number two, choose a popular uh, genre or niche. You want to select a, a genre or a niche that is has a large, uh, dedicated reader base so that it increases the chances that your audience is, you know, you have a big audience. Now, understand that if you have a big audience, other writers are probably also going into there. So don't assume that a big audience like romance or mystery, don't assume that that sets you up to succeed. It just helps you. Now, number three, identify unique selling points. So uh, you should develop a, a, a very unique angle or a twist on popular themes or tropes that will differentiate your book from the others in the market. Your book should somehow be unique. It should somehow be different than the other, you know, other 50 that, that are published that day. You know, make sure that yours 
is somehow when you when you speak about it you can you can say something and someone's going to be like oh that one sounds interesting so be the interesting one uh number four create a compelling cover now the whole don't judge a book by its cover is bs everybody judges a book by its cover if it has a you know i just did this or my kid drew this or you know whatever if it has a look of being homemade people are not going to want to pick it up you may be the best author out there but if it's got a crappy cover no one's going to know your writing skills so make sure that you have a compelling cover make sure that it's not overly busy but it, it does convey the feeling of your story. It doesn't have to be exact. You're, I mean, there's so many things I can go into this uh, really deeply, but for now, just make sure it's compelling, uh, that it's similar to the bestsellers in that genre, because you want to, you're not, you're not copying off them, but your readers have their eyes trained to look for that kind of a look. So let your book be the similar look. Number five, craft a strong book description. Now, when you write an engaging, well-structured book blurb, uh, it entices your readers to, you know, see or to, to look further. The, uh, you, you want to give enough in your blurb that they they know okay so yeah this sounds interesting um you don't want to give so much though that that after they've read you know the the four or five paragraphs that you wrote they feel like they've already read the book so don't don't give too much um but find a way to you know maybe maybe a couple paragraphs um if you if you do a, a good job at it you could actually uh put in a little bit of a dialogue or whatever, but you do want to give them enough to let their curiosity be piqued. Uh, number six, develop a solid marketing plan. Now this is going to be the toughest of them in my opinion, because there's so many ways to publish a book and they're in truth. Some of the people's marketing plan is just let Amazon do it. You know, because Amazon does do a lot to help authors market. They send out emails. They do a lot of things that really do help you market your books. That said, if you rely on Amazon solely, you're making a big mistake. So develop a solid marketing plan, create a comprehensive uh, plan that, that is going to be effectively promoting your book and reaching the right people, your target audience. You don't necessarily need to put out ads to the whole world, but if you if you do any advertising or things like that, know who your, your target audience is and make sure that you go straight to those people only. Uh, number seven, network with industry professionals. Now, networking in any business is absolutely vital the the book writing and marketing industry is no different know who they are know others even if they're at the same level as you just the synergy of working together can can really propel you both so get to know them figure out you know make some introductions help others they'll help you back you know different things like that the the writing community as a whole is full of a lot of really, really great people. Uh, they're going to be very different from you, potentially. Uh, you may think I would never talk to this person if it wasn't that that I knew them as a writer, you know, on any extreme. But it's it's kind of fun because once you you have that thing in common and at that point, you don't see any differences. You just think, you know, gosh, this person's brilliant. And it, it's really great to, to get to know each other, even at the level of just the, the personal benefit of, of, you know, getting to know other people. Uh, number eight, embrace trends, but with caution. 
Now, when I when I say that, um, it's essential that you stay informed about trends, that you know, you know, the the vampires are over and the werewolves are over and now it's witches, you know, whatever it is, um, just stay on top of that. But don't don't solely chase the trends because you want to be able to write great evergreen stories because over the test of time, those things are always going to be favorites. Uh, get to know what the classics are and, you know, the classic romances, uh, things like, you know, the, the I'm, I'm going to use the word, I hope that it's okay, the Hallmark type stories. Um, those romances w are timeless. You know, they're nice, they're clean. Everybody will either make fun of it or, or absolutely love it. Um, but they're classics. And so figure out what the classics are, figure out what's trending, and then figure out where you fit in that. All right, number nine, hone your writing skills. You are never finished growing as a writer. You should continuously work on improving your writing, your storytelling, all of that to, to create a high quality book that resonates with your readers. Now, you may be right here today, but if you keep working at it, you're going to keep getting better. You just are. You just are. Uh, it's, it's just super important to keep working on it. And then number 10, stay persistent. You know, success in any new job, new industry, it takes time. You know, you're not going to walk in the door at, as let's say you're a firefighter, you're not going to be the best firefighter in the world on day one. You're just not. It, every single industry, everything takes time to grow your experience level. And as you do that, you will undoubtedly gain more success. The only thing that you can't do is give up. Because when you give up, you'll never know what you could have been, right? All right, so those are the, the top 10. You had the overview of the methods for research and then the, the tips for marketability uh, to maximize your, your marketability out there in the book world. Uh, by understanding the market trends and the reader preferences, you will be better equipped to make informed decisions and to increase your chances of success as an author. Guys, if you are not following me, please subscribe now. Uh, like and comment in the in the description or in the comments below. And I, I love hearing from you. Ask me any questions and I will make another video for just your question if you ask. Thanks a lot.